Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. In this video, I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits, oscillators, oscillators. Oscillator is nothing but it is an electronic circuit, an electronic circuit which produces electrical oscillations of desired frequency is known as oscillator. An electronic circuit which produces electrical oscillations of desired frequency is known as oscillator. This oscillator converts DC energy into AC energy of desired frequency. It can generate AC signal without giving any input signal. Without giving any input AC signal. It can generate can generate AC signal without giving any input AC signal. That means it will convert DC energy into AC energy of desired frequency. In this oscillators, the feedback is positive feedback. The positive feedback is used in oscillators. Very, very important question. Positive, positive feedback is used in oscillators. Okay. Any oscillator consists of an internal amplifier, a feedback network, and amplitude limiting device. An oscillator consists of internal amplifier, a feedback network, and amplitude limiting device. Okay. An oscillator is electrical equivalent of alternator. Electrical equivalent of alternator. And the requirements of oscillators are condition to get sustained oscillations. Conditions to get sustained oscillations. That is, uh, it has the amplifier must be high gain. The uh, it is a high gain amplifier, and uh, under the oscillators must uh, have a high gain amplifier, and. Uh, the positive feedback to be implemented positive feedback to be implemented that is the phase difference between feedback signal and input signal of the amplifier is uh, either 0 degrees or 360 degrees or multiple of 2 pi radians multiple of 2 pi radians it is, that is positive feedback to be implemented in oscillators and the phase difference between feedback signal and input terminals of the amplifier is uh, either 0 degrees or 360 degrees or multiple of 2 pi radians or multiple of 2 pi radians and third condition is bar Carson criteria is to be implemented what is bar Carson criteria that is mod a beta equal to 1 mod a beta equal to one. This is the Barkhausen criteria. Barkhausen criterion is must be implemented. First one, the gain has the uh, it has the oscillators uh, have high gain amplifier. Second one, positive feedback to be implemented. That is the difference between uh, feedback signal and input terminals of the amplifier is uh, either zero degrees, six, three sixty degrees, or uh, must be two pi multiple of two pi radians. The bar Carson criteria is to be implemented that is mod a beta equal to 1 and uh, coming to the classification of this oscillators there are mainly two types of oscillators that is uh, audio frequency oscillators and radio frequency oscillators audio frequency means less frequency radio frequency means high frequency so the uh, oscillators are classified into audio frequency that is uh, low frequency oscillators radio frequency oscillators that is high frequency oscillators in case of audio frequency oscillators uh, they are nothing but uh, rc oscillators rc oscillators okay this rc oscillators are uh, divided into uh, two that is rc phase shift oscillators and wind bridge oscillators rc phase shift and wind bridge oscillators in case of RC phase shift, uh, there are mainly three types that are uh, in RC phase shift. Uh, if we use BZT, we can use BZT, FET, or RPAM. We can use BZT or FET or RPAM. Okay, RPAM means operational amplifier. And in case of uh, uh, this uh, radio frequency or high frequency oscillators, 
are nothing but LC oscillators. LC oscillators they are nothing but Hartley oscillators, Colpitt's oscillators, Clap oscillators, Crystal oscillators, Crystal oscillators. Okay, they are mainly two types: high frequent, uh, low frequency oscillators and high frequency oscillators. Okay, low frequency oscillators are nothing but RC oscillators. High frequency oscillators are nothing but LC oscillators. Examples of this uh, LC oscillators are Hartley, Colpitt's, Clap, and Crystal oscillators. Okay. And coming to the phase shift oscillators, RC phase shift oscillators. Here in this, uh, the minimum number of RC network to be connected in cascade is three. Very very important bit. The minimum number of RC network to be connected in cascade is three. If we use BZT in this uh, oscillators, if we use BZT, the frequency of oscillations f equal to one by two pi RC into root of six plus four k. One by two pi RC into root of 6 plus 4k here k is nothing but rc by r rc by r rc by r that is equal to rc is nothing but collector load resistance collector load resistance and uh, capital r is nothing but resistance used in feedback path capital r is nothing but resistance used in feedback path uh, and uh, the hfe hfe is greater than or equal to minus 29 by k plus 23 plus 4k plus 4k this is nothing but how many rc numbers required to implement the rc phase shift oscillators or the or av is greater than or equal to hfe into k av is greater than or equal to hfe into k that is av is greater than or equal to minus 29 plus 23k plus 4k square that is it is a condition for oscillation so if we use bzt in the rc phase shift oscillators the condition for oscillation is nothing but av is greater than minus 29 plus 23k plus 4k square plus 4k square if we use fit or op amp if we use uh, fit or op amp op amp means operational amplifier the frequency of oscillations f equal to 1 by 2 pi rc into root 6 rc into root 6 here fc equal to 1 by 2 pi rc into root of 6 plus 4k here root 6 only and here condition for oscillation av is greater than or equal to my mi minus 29 greater than or equal to minus 29 and coming to the advantages of this uh, uh, rc phase shift uh, phase shift oscillators it is suitable for frequency oscillations up to 1 kilo hertz it can suitable for frequencies of oscillations up to 1 kilohertz and displays disadvantages are uh, nothing but it is a fixed frequency oscillator it is a fixed frequency oscillators and gain depends upon feedback elements gain depends upon feedback elements so it is not suitable for high frequency so it is not suitable for high frequency okay uh, here it is suitable for frequency of oscillations up to 1 kilohertz but for up to uh, for 1 kilohertz uh, for particular 1 kilohertz uh, v in bridge oscillators are mostly used okay to for generating 1 kilohertz signals uh, v in bridge oscillators are mainly used okay sorry uh, wien bridge oscillator wien bridge oscillator this is the wien bridge oscillator circuit okay the frequency of oscillations f equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of r1 r2 and c1 c2 r1 r2 and c1 c2 here it is r1 r2 and c1 c2 if r1 if r1 equal to r2 equal to r and c1 equal to c2 equal to c then f equal to 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi rc so the wien bridge oscillators frequency frequency of oscillations f equal to 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi rc and conditions for sustained oscillations condition for sustained oscillations 
mod a v equal to 3 mod a v equal to 3 and to limit the amplitude here thermistor is used to limit the amplitude thermistor is used in wind bridge oscillator and advantage of this uh, wind bridge oscillator it is a variable frequency oscillator very very important wind bridge oscillator is variable frequency oscillators okay and uh, it is suitable for up to 300 kilohertz it is suitable for up to 300 kilohertz and uh, it stable operations produced by providing negative feedback in the same circuit uh, actually accelerator oscillator means positive feedback if we provide negative feedback to the same circuit along with this uh, positive feedback if we provide a uh, negative feedback uh, the stable oscillations can be produced okay and you just it is used as a signal generator with wind bridge is used as a wind bridge oscillator is used as a signal generator and it is most suitable for generating one kilohertz if you ask the question which of the oscillator is most suitable for generating one kilohertz is nothing but wind bridge oscillator we can also generate one kilohertz up to one kilohertz so uh, by using RC phase shift oscillator but the most suitable for generating uh, 1 kilohertz is nothing but wind bridge oscillator only okay and in wind bridge oscillator positive feedback attenuation is 1 by 3 positive feedback attenuation is 1 by 3 okay and LC oscillators and LC oscillators they are mainly in case of LC oscillators Hartley Colpits and clap, uh, clap oscillator and crystal oscillators coming to the Hartley oscillators it has two inductors with one capacitor two inductors with one capacitor here the frequency of oscillations f equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of L1 plus L2C l1 plus l2c that means uh, 1 by 2 pi root of l equivalent into c 1 by that is nothing but 1 by 2 pi root of l equivalent into c l equivalent into c here only if we consider only self inductances that is l equivalent equal to l1 plus l2 if there is a a mutual inductance with uh, effect of mutual inductance also consider then f equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of l equivalent into c l equivalent uh, with consider uh, with consist with also consider the mutual inductance that is l1 plus l2 plus 2m m, m is the mutual inductance mutual inductance here in this case uh, the condition for sustained oscillations a v equal to l2 by l1 l2 by l1 here the condition is L2 plus M by mod L2 plus M by L1 plus M. L2 plus M by L1 plus M. Okay. And the uses of this uh, uh, Hartley oscillator, it can be suitable for radio. Very, very important question. Hartley oscillation, oscillator can be suitable for radio frequency. Radio frequency. That means high frequency. So it is used in radio receivers it is used in radio receivers and disadvantages of this uh, lc oscillator is fixed frequency oscillator fixed frequency oscillator lc oscillator hardly oscillator is nothing but fixed frequency oscillator and And next one, Colpitt's oscillator. Colpitt's oscillator. It has two capacitors with one inductor. It has two capacitors with one inductors. And here, the frequency of oscillation f equal to 1 by 2 pi into root L into C equivalent. Here, in case of RC, uh, Hartley oscillator, we use two inductors. So, the frequency of oscillation is 1 by 2 pi into root l equivalent into c in case of this uh, call pits oscillator 
it has two registers. So, 1 by 2 pi into root of L into C equivalent. C equivalent. Okay. And condition for sustained oscillations A equal to C1 by C2. C1 by C2. Okay. Here 1 by C equivalent equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 because they are in series. So 1 by C equivalent equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. And it is suitable for radio frequency up to 300 megahertz. Up to 300 megahertz. Okay. It is also a fixed frequency oscillator. It is also a fixed frequency oscillator. And next oscillator uh, under radio frequency oscillators, clap oscillators, clap oscillators. Okay, it has uh, two capacitors with the inductor and uh, one variable capacitor. One variable capacitor. So it has one variable capacitor means uh, it is a variable frequency oscillator. Clap oscillator is a variable frequency oscillator. And here frequency of oscillations f equal to 1 by 2 pi into root lc equivalent root lc equivalent okay here 1 by c equivalent equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 and condition for sustained oscillations av equal to mod c1 by c2 mod c1 by c2 actually we know that av equal to in case of uh, lc oscillator that is x2 by x1 that is here x2 by x1 means x2 equal to 1 by omega c2 by 1 by omega c1 omega omega cancel that is c1 by c2 okay condition for sustained oscillation is c1 by c2 okay and it is a variable frequency oscillator because it has a variable capacitor so we can change the frequency by using this variable capacitor so variable it is a variable frequency oscillator okay and next crystal oscillator very very important oscillator is crystal oscillator okay this is the uh, schematic circuit of uh, uh, crystal oscillator and it is electrical equivalent circuit of uh, this crystal oscillator and it is a associ it is associated with piezoelectric effect very very important one crystal oscillator is associated with piezoelectric effect and this properties of this crystal is it has high q and high l by c ratio it has high q and high l by c ratio and in case of series resonance frequency fs equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of ls into cs 1 by 2 pi into root of ls into cs and uh, quality factor for this uh, qs equal to omega s ls by rs omega s ls by rs and for parallel resonant frequency fp equal to 1 by 2 pi root ls into c equivalent C equivalent equal to 1 by C equivalent equal to 1 by Cs plus 1 by Cp. Here Qp equal to omega P Ls by Rs. And it is also a variable frequency oscillator. Variable frequency oscillator. And uh, the stability depends on Q of crystal. Q on crystal. If Q is increases, the stability will be increases and frequency oscillations uh, frequency of oscillations almost remain constant frequency of oscillations almost remain constant and it is used in radio transmitters radio transmitters hotly oscillators is used in radio receivers but uh, this crystal oscillators are used in radio transmitters these are superior to lc oscillators these are superior crystal oscillators are superior to all the lc oscillators because because of high degree of frequency stability because of high degree of frequency stability high degree of frequency stability okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of electronic devices and circuits okay okay thank you